Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at how we can connect a USB drive or a USB flash drive to a Kali Linux virtual machine on a virtual box. The first item we want to look at is uh, on the settings, we'll need to uh, make sure that the USB controller is enabled. And you need to do this while the machine is powered off. So just right click on your uh, virtual machine, go to settings. Then under USB right here, just make sure that you have a USB controller enabled. Just have a check mark in here. And for me, I'm going with the USB 2.0. With that verified, you can just click OK. Then now you can power on your virtual machine. And then we'll look at the other settings that we'll need to uh, make changes to. I'm going to power on the machine and come back once it's uh, powered on. OK, now the machine is powered on. and um, I'm on the uh, desktop here. I'll open the terminal and run a few commands to check if we can see any uh, block devices listed and see if we can recognize the USB drive. Uh, one of the commands we can use is uh, lsplk to list the block devices on the device. And right now we only have SDA, which is my main disk right here. And I also have uh, the CD-ROM right here. I'm not seeing any other block devices. You can also use uh, df-h, and here we still are not seeing anything else other than sda1. Let's look at another command, which is mount, and this is just gonna try and see what's mounted under dev. Again, I'm only seeing sda1. Uh, I'm not seeing any sdb. So lastly, let's look inside the there folder and here you can see that we, we only have a uh, SDA again and nothing that says B. Now in order for us to connect our USB to this machine we'll need to go to devices then USB and then it should be listed here your USB uh, device or USB flash drive and what you need to do is just click on it then if you go back to it, there should be a check mark right next to it. And now we have it connected. Now if I run the same commands that have been running, like if I repeat this command right here, now we have a device that is SDB with one partition, SDB1. Let's click this. Uh, let's do the other two commands we did earlier. So still it's not mounted. And let's do LS and this time we do see that we have the, this disk right here and we know this is our USB drive and it's got one partition and lastly we'll do df.h and since it's not mounted it's not being listed here now in order for us to access the files or the contents of the flash drive we'll need to mount it now that's going to be our next process here we'll need to create a mount point where we'll mount this device. You can go ahead and create a, a, a directory where you want to mount it. So in this case, so what I did previously is that I made a directory inside the slash media directory. So if, you, if I do ls media, I made this directory here. It wasn't there before, and this is where I will be mounting the USB drive. To make a, a directory, you just you'll need to do sudo. For instance, it's an example, and then you nav you navigate to the directory, and then you create whatever you whatever folder or directory you want to create. So, for instance, this is what I I ran in order to create that directory. Now, once you have that mount point. You can go ahead and uh, mount a USB device, and the command will be sudo mount the device you're mounting, which for us is uh, stb1, and then where you want to mount it, so it's media USB drive, press enter. Just verify that this is the device before you put in your password. And go ahead and put in your password. And now let's run df.h. 
and it's showing that it's been mounted. This device right here is mounted on this directory. That's clear. We can also run the mount command and then we can grab let's say SD V1. And again, you get more information as far as the mount point, the file system type, which is VFAT, and there's more information. Now, now that we have that mounted, we can actually access the contents of this USB drive. I could do, I can list the contents. I could just do, since I know where it's mounted, I can do media. And I see that I have a file in here called Chrome setup.exe. You can also see it to the that directory and the list the contents and there you have it. You can access the contents of the that USB drive or flash drive. Now once you're you're done using the USB drive, let's say you just wanted to copy this file to your Kali Linux device, and now you want to just pull out the USB drive. Before you do that, it's a good idea to unmount the USB drive and it's just a one quick command to unmount it. What you can do is you can say sudo you mount and then the device you're looking to unmount which is sdb1 and now if I do df-h sdb is not showing and if I repeat the other command here, it's not mounted anymore. And now we can actually pull out the USB flash drive from the system or from your host device. Now, the, there's another item I wanted to talk about. If you try to unmount it and run into an error, sometimes you might get an error saying, you mount target is busy. In that case, you might need to kill the process and then try to unmount it. For instance, what you'll need to do, you'll need to find out what process it is. Uh, so the command you might need to use is sudo lsof, and then you need to put here the device name you're trying to unmount and press enter. And this should list uh, the process ID for you. Once you have the process ID, then you can do sudo kill dash nine and then you put the process id here to say uh, let's say it's two zero one seven or something like that that should allow you to uh, run the un, uh, u mount and that should allow you to now unmount the device using u mount command lastly if you're looking to have this usb drive permanently installed or mounted you'll need to add it to the fs tab File, which is under so you need to add it to it is it's the first tab so you need a new line here so you need to edit this file and put a new line representing your usb drive that way you can have it permanently mounted on your system so that's it for this video i hope this has been helpful i'll see you all in my next video thanks bye